All right, staying with the projects. Look at that. It's kind of rigged together. <clears throat> but I finally have a faucet, a hose, or an outdoor spigot. Wind's picking up as always. It is a trash picking day. At some point, I'm going to want to wash my van. I realized my last van, I never hand washed once. And obviously, it won't go through a uh, one of those washing uh car washes that touches your car so like stuff like this if you spray it down with water it doesn't come off uh same with this you actually have to you see you actually have to touch it to clean it water just doesn't clean it so this van will be getting washed sometime soon it's due for its first oil change in about 500 miles uh but it's trash picking day fun fact today i went out this morning grabbed one item i also returned those red buckets so I'll include the clip of me finding the item uh, first, and then we'll just try and make it a fun one and see what happens. So let's get out there and see what's in the trash day, and hey, let's make it a good one. Let's do it. What do we have? Wow, this thing is tiny. That thing is antique. I mean, what are you going to put on there? Three hot dogs? Three hamburgers? I don't even know. It goes up to my waist also, which is kind of cool. This is an old one. These are uh, the old cast aluminum ones. Oh, early morning pick. She's in there. Dog crates for days. This is throwing me for a loop. I don't know. It's a trailer scrap. I mean, that's obviously a scrap metal. It's a trailer scrap, probably. But are they just like hauling scrap down here? And they're like, hey, just take the scrap out of it. This one's gonna be an absolute beast. This thing just looks heavy. What happened is the Freon to come out of this if they did not take it out. So you kind of have to watch where you're grabbing. I don't know what's going on with the trailer. I fortunately have the tools to take the Freon out of it, but you don't know the Freon's out until you use the tool. Now, if that thing got punctured in here, probably lose a decent amount of life, uh, decent amount of life expectancy. So I'll try not that to happen. The mattress over there. This is the people who had a pile out last week, and I got beat to it. Some Lululemon, or whatever it is, Lulu Row, Brooks Brothers. Just empty boxes, I think. Uh, do you think 
it's gonna be really stupid. Jay, if you're watching this man, I know he does. He finds them once in a while at uh I don't think he wants Brooks Brothers. He finds them once in a while at uh thrift stores. The box might actually help the sell value. I don't really look for it, but I think he does. Alright, so today has been a good day so far. Um, nothing down that way. Nothing down that way. This is where I found all the uh, the chairs last week. And I know a couple people said that it came from a steakhouse. I forgot the name of a steakhouse. I don't know why I think it's like Nordesty or something. Steakhouse. Who knows? These people are in the middle of the road. Alright. Thank you for telling me that. Like, that's like something and in... Wait, this person by. Uh, like I was saying, that was... That's something like I would never, ever know that that would have came from a steakhouse. And, oh, they got some speakers over there. Those are kind of old. But I greatly appreciate when people let me know about that stuff because I don't think whatever brand that was, whatever steakhouse that brand that is... There is none within, I don't know, 50 miles of here or 100 miles of here. And there was none where, you know, I grew up. So how would I ever know? It's like one of those things like how did that thing even end up here is another, another mystery to be solved. But so far, a decent day. Got mulch leaves. Everyone's doing their outdoor stuff. A couple throwing their stones around. Getting the chairs out. It's really feeling like spring now. We got a nice warm day, 65. 65. So hopefully we'll find some more stuff. Swing up here. How's it going? It's actually, I was looking for one of these. So we got out here. Uh, probably go. No idea what this is. or neat things in here. That's not where neat. What am I thinking? Losing it. These are cool. They don't sell well, but the oval one might. hardware down here it's gonna oh. that would definitely sell so with this we we'll have to go through all that at home I didn't need those chairs and I guess I was a magazine rack diamond does our thing's really cool TV wire, I should have known that. I'm not scrapping that. At least for the time being, I'm not scrapping it. So I'm working on my deck. It's almost finished. It's We started nailing it down and uh, ran into some issues with the nail gun. So 
almost done, but I did want to put some, uh, some table there. Nice planter. I don't know if it's trash. Or the guy's just planting it there. It's always an issue right now. Planters. What else? Lawn mowers. Weed whackers. Chairs. Chairs, not really. That came from Paper and Moose. She's uh she's always trying to find stuff in that first town, so we met up and she gave me more boxes of uh, metal. Really? Really? Why well, have one when you can have two, right? What the heck's all this stuff? It's a jewelry box. Got jewelry in it? That one does, at least it looks like it does. I'll go throw this at home. Well, I guess I probably should take that. What am I going to do with bro? Two grills. Why get one when you can have two? This is probably just going to be chuck grinding garbage. It does have weights. So there might be something in here. Uh -oh, just mold. Just mold. How am I going to fit both of these? Might have to come back at the other one. This thing already came off. That's what these things weigh so much. That's what it is. Something else does. Oh, uh, what did I want to break on that thing? Alright, that one's in there. Probably just keep the other one standing up. Probably should have wore. Long sleeves. Alright. These girls are unrealistically heavy and I don't know why. I don't know why that one's so heavy why both of these were. Usually a grill like that probably weighs like 60 pounds. I don't know, that just gave me a whooping. Gotta say, nicely mowed lawn looks pretty nice. Cabinet drawers over there. This is actually a really good rack for something. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I feel like I could probably use it for something. If I sold shoes on eBay, that would be perfect. Perfect! Alright, and we are back. Wow, what a day. What an absolute day. For a second, I was like, did that head just fall off that item? However, it does not appear to be so. Um, there's, it looked like there was jewelry in there. I'm looking at it now. Oh, there is. I'll even take this out. Try not to break this ceramic stuff. Smart thing right here would be take off. All right, there you go. Oh, there's no jewelry in there. What am I looking at? I saw the spinning things. I was like, oh, that's jewelry up there. I just thought it was upside down, but it's not the spinning things. Spinning things. I think they're called, uh... The, uh, well, you'd hang your jewelry or your bracelet off of that, most likely. Uh, these are probably going to be donated because, well, this one, eh, you know, I'll try to sell it. I have trouble selling these jewelry boxes. 
Unless they're filled with jewelry. This one's probably going to just be thrown out because it's all moldy. However, what a day. So we got all sorts of cool things here. Whatever this piece is, I think it could just hold a... Uh, this I think you'd hold, this would go from your ceiling, kind of like a chandelier, but I think you'd hold a candle in there. That's kind of ballsy. That's not getting scrapped. This also is not getting, this isn't cast iron, although it looks like that's wood, that's just paint. That's not getting scrapped. The rest of this looks like scrap. These are like, that's a shock of some sort. That looks like the shell to a motor. That's something else. There's some newer stuff in here. I don't know what I'm grabbing right now. What did I see? Uh, whatever this is, that's not getting scrapped either. It's new. At least it looks new. Yeah, it's new. I think this was to hold a hose. You'd put it against your foundation, your wall, and you put the hose around it. It's kind of like a hose wrapper kind of thing. I'll probably end up not scrapping that. Uh, other than that, it was... Voila, a great day of picking. I'm going to take time and go through and try to get these things off, I think. I see those display cases everywhere. Display cases, a lot of things like carpet, doorknobs, door pulls, things of like, you know, that kind of nature. Anything you'd have, you know, as in a showroom, paint samples. You see them everywhere. I do see them everywhere. I'm surprised I haven't seen like doorknobs in a while, like just out in the trash. My good uh, late friend Dale, he used to pick up that kind of stuff from auctions. If you ever come across one, uh, like an old, say like an old, not warehouse, but an old hardware store and have all the old hardware on it and displays look really, really nice. I know he's had a couple in his day. Um, so yeah, it was a great day all around. Awesome day. I can't believe we found, what, three grills today in total? Can't beat them, join them, I guess. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's it's starting to get around. We got that wooden stand as well. It was a great day. I'm going to actually take apart the air conditioner probably tomorrow or the day after. So I'm going to get that out. And when I have time, I'm going to sit down and probably take that apart. I know we're still in kind of lockdown phase here in Pennsylvania. I know a lot of the country is still opening up. Um, but we're still kind of in lockdown. So flea markets around here aren't open just yet. However, whenever flea markets do open, I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff. Although I do think this would sell, and that would sell, I'm going to be bringing a lot of metal and a lot of iffy things. So that way, if it doesn't sell, I can then scrap it or donate it or get rid of it. But at least I know in my mind that, hey, look, it just doesn't sell. Uh, but this I know would definitely sell, and somebody can definitely use that. That way, I can free up space rather than bringing things that I'm like, you know what, it's probably going to sell. Oh, the right buyer didn't come along, and then I end up just storing it again and bringing it another week. So, always bringing fresh inventory. This was an absolute blast. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed yet another trash picking video. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Uh, these videos, you know, the comments mean a lot, the views mean a lot, the likes mean a lot. Uh, it really goes to show that you guys are really enjoying this stuff, and I. Uh, I greatly appreciate that you guys are. Uh, so thanks for all that. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more trash picking videos. And I'll catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. And until next time, well, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.